So stick around guys, I'm gonna tell you why you shouldn't buy this ASIC Miner 8 Nano. Alright, so as you guys know, I have been testing the ASIC Miner 8 Nano for a few months now to really see how this thing holds up. Now, all of our worst fears have come true. They have bricked the machine. Now, I think this was all our biggest issue when thinking about purchasing or buying this machine. Will they brick it? Will they change the pool worker information? Oh, they sure will, and they sure did. Let's get a little bit more into it. So as you guys know, I have tried to stand behind this company because I saw that they were a small company really trying to give a good product to the consumer, or at least that's what I was told or I was thought to believe. So as we progress, you guys saw a little snapshot, and I'll put some more snapshots in there, that they actually manipulated the pool addresses. I mean, it's quite intelligent, right? They just put a little I in front of the other I. So that means that in my minor digi, that was my username, they put two I's instead of one, hoping that I wouldn't notice. So now, the real question is, is why are they trying to manipulate just one machine? You know, from what I was told, they were supposed to have thousands of machines, and I was supposed to have 500 machines delivered here months ago. That never happened. I want to show you guys a couple other pictures from other people who bought their units as well. As you can see, the pumps fail notoriously. Look, you can see from this image, there's water right on the ground. And on the next image, you can see a pile of water right next to the miner. Now, let's play a little video that I was sent that shows an actual stream coming out of the pump that could go into the chips and into the system. I mean, this is just bad craftsmanship. How can you have so many failures of the same thing? Bad engineering. So, again, I want to give you guys all of this information so you really know what's going on. But, you know, let's get a little bit more into it and see what is actually going on here. So you guys saw that they actually manipulated the worker address. You guys see that the unit is offline right now because I did confront them. So the issue is, is that once I confronted them, they bricked the machine. Now we're getting no hash rate. They completely went in there and took everything away. So I believe that now all of our worst fears for this machine and this company have truly, truly manifested. So my 100% recommendation is do not buy this machine, any of their products, or anything from this company. Because most likely, they're going to give you a bad unit from all the other people that have told me they have received bad units or leaking water pumps or something wrong with it or when they're just ready they'll brick your machine so you guys make the choice you know i've told you guys a lot about this asic miner 8 nano i still do love the technology i love the water cooling aspect i love the fact that bitmain has done it now another real company not a company like this asic miner 8 nano who just wants to keep control now, they also promised that I was going to do a review of the ASIC Miner 8, um, not the 8, sorry, the ASIC Miner Xeon. They never sent the unit. They never came through, bottom line. So, like I said, my recommendation is stay away, stay away, stay away. Let's not buy from this company. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys have any other comments or any other horror stories to add to this, please let me know in the comments. If you're not subscribed, do so now and give this video a big thumbs up. For now, Digi out.